the operation that you trigger may be from form, but the op actual operation directly run on server. Okay. So see, we take one scenario which is very, very, very important scenario. Okay, and it's also out of the box scenario. Okay. So today, what we are going to see is I'm not writing any script for today class. I'm not writing any script. For tomorrow, we will be seeing the script. Okay, that is Glide Record script. So today our topic is business rules. Okay, this is the same pattern how I explained the client script part. For client script also, we didn't directly run the G form. We didn't directly explain the G form. We see in the client script types of client scripts, how they work. Okay, and then you got the requirement. Then what? How to accomplish the requirement with the code? Correct. Then it made very simple to understand. Instead of explaining G form first and then client script, then that may give a little discomfort. Okay, you know the code when you are when you know when you are learning the code now without uh, the purpose of the code, then you may get it. Why I am writing this? Okay, where I will use it? So the gap when you know when you use it and then what you need to write it that makes very comfortable. Now I know. Okay, this is the yes, code. Sir. Okay, I may write it here. I may write it there. I may write it here. Okay, the same pattern we will go to business rule also. Okay, so first of all, we said it's a server side activity and then. The first concept here in the server side, what are the other concepts we come, we get it now? Server side scripting related concepts. What are the concepts we discussed? Business rules, sir. Yes. Script include. Script include, very good. Data policy. Data policy. Data policy, yes. yeah. It's actually, uh, okay, ma, correct only. You let it be. UI action. action. UI action, very good. Notification, schedule jobs. Yes, schedule jobs. Schedule jobs. For maps. Sorry, ma. Transform maps. Transform maps. Transform maps. Transform scripts. Let it be. Okay. Transform maps. Correct. Fix. 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 Script. Background script. Back. Background script. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you can still say workflows. Workflows run script. Okay. And. Uh, Catalog items. Flow designers. Mm, flow designers. What work is what? Record producers. Yes, sir. Catalog items. Catalog items is obviously workflow. Ma. Okay. Catalog items. Schedule items, jobs. Uh, schedule jobs we written here. So, catalog items is like two things. The back end is driven by workflow. Okay, where we write server side script. But front end, uh, we have client scripts. Like form. Okay, same client script kind of UI policy client script. Okay, record producer. And uh, integration scripting. Order guide is also fall under this. Order guide, uh, we don't write any server side script. No. Okay. okay, maybe order guides will connect to catalog items, catalog items will connect to workflows. So, workflows have the run script, which is server side script. Okay, okay, sir. Understood. Integrations, scripting, record producer, flow designer, yes, flow designer and designer. Okay, and uh, what else? Still, I think we may get it. Few. Okay. What about events? Events is notifications. Someone said no. Event yeah. is not actually the scripting part, event is like a triggering part. No? Oh. Okay. So email scripting. Sir, inbound, outbound. In, uh, yeah, sir, inbound, outbound. Okay, inbound, outbound. Okay, and uh, one thing I got it just now. Inbound, outbound, email scripting, email scripting, schedule jobs. I got one. Why pages, UI macros? Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, it covers everything, ma. UI related. Okay. And okay. Maybe I'll say widget. Widget is a good word. Widgets, everything is a widget actually. Okay, we see widget concept only in portal, but everywhere we are using widgets. Okay, so, so the last is dynamic reference qualifier. Mm, yes, very good. Actually, dynamic so we forget filters, the... we call it as filters. Okay, dynamic uh, reference qualifier. Uh, sir, did we forget glide and calling glide system? See, server side, we are talking about server side scripting, ma. server side APIs. It's not like I'm saying Glide Record only. It is all Glide system or Glide Record or Glide aggregate or Glide date and time, everything. Whatever server side API is. Okay. So, yes, I think this is pretty much good. So now, see, one, I already told this one, right? This particular statement I told, I'm repeating. Okay. So, if I am a service node developer, I should know server side scripting. If I say I don't know server side scripting, then I don't know all this also. Is that a correct statement? Ma? 
Yes, sir. You may know the definition, but you don't know how to operate them in a controlled manner. Okay. So, this is where the gap of every person who learn maybe okay by by outside or by self and then they will try to get the jobs but there is a gap where some question comes from here where they are not comfortable with server side code or something it gives a gap okay now if we know the server side APS especially the glide C from client side when we discussed it now we discussed uh, what how we discussed G form G user I said G form is the core it covers 95 percent 98 percent of the syllabus means scenarios similarly here also glide record okay glide record will cover you 80 percent 85 percent of the scenarios it doesn't mean like glide system glide aggregate and all is not required it is also required but if you know how to if you know how to use glide record now lending the other whenever you want it is very easy just like getting it and then using it and then trying it that's it okay so we are core concentrating on the base don't uh, maybe don't please ask like sir can you cover this can you cover this can you cover that and all if you, if you start covering it now I, I showed you how many APIs are there correct so uh, Shridhar sorry to interrupt uh, Ajax will be uh, included inside script and clue here, no, it comes okay. Here. Ajax okay. Is a, okay here it will be included your answer is okay here. okay so now g underscore scratch pad g underscore scratch pad will come here now. Ajax or Glide Ajax, one and the same. Glide Ajax, man. Okay. Sir, ACLs also comes under right? server side. Only. No, ma. The ACLs is not uh, comes under server side. The ACLs will come under mm -hmm. okay dictionary kind of. It is like a uh, configuration of the pro. Out. What is dictionary? How you feel dictionary? Dictionary is like a table level properties, correct? Right, right. Ah, so ACL also will comes like that. It won't be like a script or something. Ah, oh, okay. Right. So, okay, so now this is what the expectation and from today we are going to see, okay, server side and tomorrow onwards we we started seeing glide record part, okay, maybe for last batch I took closely, glide record, glide record, G from only took six classes, huh? four or five classes, okay, so glide records, we are here, somewhere we are here today, okay, 30, yeah, one second, 30, what is the class number, ma? Today class? 20, 20, 20. Okay, 20, 28. 28. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, 28. Okay, so I think batch number. A little faster. Okay, good. So, uh, glide record, we may discuss it, okay, from here to somewhere here. Okay, all these classes are glide record only. So, five, minimum five classes we will be discussing from today. Minimum. Here it is six. I am saying minimum. Maximum depends. Okay, even this also script include also uh, it is part of glide record class only extension so we start from here and we see cc all of them one by one here also this one also so for last session for last class these many classes are involved with the glide record eight classes okay now when we learn glide record we also simultaneously see other concepts also whenever it is coming okay that means once we learn glide record you can handle all these classes, all these topics of service now. This is first part, dependencies. Second part, I am giving a caution here. More, practice it more from now. Don't keep it for pending. What my point is, when you are, when you are starting this learning also, we will, from today, next eight classes, seven classes, six classes, 10 classes, 12 classes, whatever it is, practice this part very, very hard and don't keep it for pending okay if you keep it for pending you are not only keep it you are not keeping the glide record part pending you are you are also do, keeping the pending part of all these topics you, you are understanding my statement ma so one question if you keep this glide record rest everything will be taken care of yeah if you hardly practice if you if you have control of glide record now you will be seeing it everywhere some script will come day Glide record will come even here also. Correct ma? Morning, yesterday evening class we written, no, somewhere here we written a script, right? Using a email conversion to user ID, user fee side. Yep. Yep. Here also it came. Okay, here also it will come. Here it will come. Here it will come. Everywhere it will come. So, that is the importance of it. So, I am just giving that as a caution. Please practice it. 
Don't...